Welcome to part 7 of my virtual reality development for absolute beginners series. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel and something doesn't work from this video, make sure you start from the first video from my playlist and then follow along. The link to the playlist can be found below. Now if you have a MetaQuest virtual reality headset and you got the special link cable, how can you play the sample game on it? Let me show you. So the first thing you need to do is use the special link cable and connect it to your virtual reality headset and then go to MetaQuest link app and open it. Go to devices and then click it to make sure that it is connected and active. Now, if, you, if it is not connected and active, go back to my part one tutorial and make sure you follow it properly. Now, if, since this is connected and active, all you have to do is go back to Unity and then just double check these settings, okay? Go to Edit and then go to Preference, go to Project Settings. Make sure in the Enable Interaction Profiles, Oculus Touch Controller Profile is selected and these three features, MetaQuest Support, Meta Hand, and Hand Tracking System, they are all selected. And this is under the Android tab. And go to the Windows tab as well and make sure the Oculus Touch Controller profile is there and the hand tracking and meta hand tracking is also selected. Another thing I want you guys to know is that you can go to the build settings over here and if you're using the cable, it doesn't matter if you're using the Android platform or the Windows platform, but sometimes some features don't work when you're using the Windows platform. And some features don't work when you're using the Android platform. And this will be case by case because in the future, you may be importing external assets made by third party providers, which may only work on specific platforms. So if you're facing those issues, for example, if you try playing your game in the headset while on Android platform and it didn't work, you can just go to the windows and then you can switch platform and then try again to see if that works. It's just a debugging it. Now I'm going to click this Android platform again. I'm going to close it and then I'm going to go back inside my virtual reality headset. Okay. Oh, I forgot to quit my sample game that I played earlier. So I'm just going to click the MetaQuest uh, button on my right controller and then click quit over here. And once you're here, what you can do is you can go to the quick settings tab over here and then you can either go to the settings tab like I showed you in in part one or there is a shortcut over here that you can also click called quest link and then as you can see over here it says connected all you have to do is click launch and then it will launch the quest link app inside your meta quest device now as you can see this is the dashboard this is how it will look and as you can see there are many options over here now there are two things you can play your game you can either click the desktop button over here and what what will happen is it will simply project whatever your desktop screen is inside your virtual reality headset or what you can do you can simply remove your headset and then click the play button in the unity uh, game engine now let me click the desktop button And as you can see, you can see the mouse pointer over here, but you cannot see my desktop. I think this is because uh, I'm recording my MetaQuest 3 headset right now. And probably Meta has blocked me being able to record my desktop for security purposes. You most probably won't be recording your MetaQuest headset device. So this probably will work. So if this is working and if you see your Unity pane, you can just go up here and then click the play button. But since I'm unable to see that on my MetaQuest device right now. I'm simply going to deselect the desktop. I'm going to remove my headset. And then I'm going to play the scene in the Unity. And oh, another tip, try to wear your headset as quick as possible after you click the play button. Because if the Unity session loads before you put on your headset, for some reason, it doesn't load on your headset. The only way to make the game to be able to play on your headset is by wearing your headset within that one minute window of your computer loading your Unity sample game. I don't know how to fix this, but it is what it is. So let me click the play button and quickly wear my headset. Wait for Unity to load the game. 
and as you can see it works i can move around i can uh, use my right hand controller's joystick in order to turn i can go forward i can move this ui panel i can interact with it by clicking the ui press button over here it's so cool I can move the object, I can throw it around, whoa. <laughs> now let me show you all these uh, interactions, gaze, the poke, the ray, all of them are already set up. You don't have to do all of it step by step, one by one, by following the old tutorials. Everything is already set up for you so that you can focus on the more important things, which is building your actual game. Now let me show you the why I have been recommending you to use the a link cable for so long now for example if you do not want to allow the user that plays your game to use the right controller's joystick in order to simply turn the head right if you want to disable that feature what you can do is simply go inside the hr origin game object make sure there is something called locomotion expand it and then there's something called turn game object so all you have to do is go here and you have to disable it. Now what will happen is immediately that feature will be disabled while the game is still playing in on your computer and being streamed to your Unity headset. So now if I simply go back to my headset and wear it, it will automatically continue playing the game. Ah, okay. I'm unable to see anything because I did not switch from the scene tab to the game tab so let's do that let's maximize it and as you can see right now i have both my controllers but if i want to look around i can only look around by moving my head if i move the controller as you can see the joystick is moving but i'm unable to turn this is very useful when you want to test new features and see how it works in your game when you modify certain game objects and their properties or if you're if you're faced an error and if you're trying to fix it this is the fastest method in trying to fix that error now let me also show you all the other sample game scenes that you can play around with that xr interaction toolkit 3.0 offers now let, I mean, let me keep my controllers down and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop playing the game. Here's very one very important thing I would like you guys to know is that whatever changes that you make while you're playing the game, those changes won't be saved and carried over if you stop playing the game. Now, if you remember, we disabled the turn game object. Now, if you go back to the locomotion and click the turn game object, it's enabled because we made that change while the game was in play mode. So therefore, during play mode, you can do all the changes you want in order to test out all the features that, were, that are provided by the virtual reality template. Or if you, are, if you have an error and you are trying to figure out which component is causing that error, then it's a very good thing to play around and use it for testing and debugging purposes. But once you have figured out what that error is, and once you know what permanent changes you want to make, make sure you exit the play mode and then go to that specific game object that you want to permanently change for example the turn game object and then deselect it and then make sure you save your game scene so that those changes are permanently saved as you can see if there's an asterisk bu button right next to the sample scene or an asterisk button right next to the unity version over here it means this sample game scene is not saved yet so you can either save it by pressing the control plus s button now whatever changes you make over here will be permanent okay next as promised let me show you all the other sample game scenes that are provided that you can play around with click here for the next part in this series